Welcome back to Trina Christine Mason's birthday special, everybody, with one more Nintendo Wii U game. And I've picked Jeopardy. Let's see how it goes. to $1,000 in these categories. Parts of speech. Slogans and mottos. Edgar Allan Poe. Historic London. Movie kisses. And science. Where do we begin, player one? According to an 1833 description, Poe dressed entirely in this color. Yes, player one? Yes. <laughs> Poe's wife, who passed away at age 24, had this name, like the state at whose university Edgar studied. Okay, player one. <laughs> right. You get to pick the first obituary of Poe, which spoke of the frailties of genius, appeared in this city's Sun newspaper. Yes, player one. Yep. In 1842, Poe reviewed this British author's Barnaby Rudge, which features, hmm, a human-like raven. Okay, player one. Yes. Poe won an 1833 short story contest with a story about one of these found in a bottle. Okay, player one. <laughs> you get to pick again. You can visit several of these historic structures like Kensington and Buckingham. Okay, player one. Yeah. <laughs> player one. Regent's Park was a hunting ground for this 16th century king who never hunted without tiring eight or ten horses. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> player one. Famous men who orated at Hyde Park's Speaker's Corner include Friedrich Engels and this 1848 Engels co-author. Yes, player one. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Wellesley, the first duke of this, was known as a soldier, but had an eye for art, as you can see at Apsley House. It's player one. Yeah. Player According one. to Shakespeare, these conflicts began with a confrontation in the Temple Gardens. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. <laughs> Player he one. said kissing Kirsten Dunst upside down in the rain was the hardest thing he's done as Spider-Man. 
Yes, player one. That is correct. Into have and have not, she kisses Bogart and says, It's even better when you help. Let's hear it, player one. Hey, you're right. A mutt and a cocker spaniel slurp spaghetti and smooch in this 1955 classic. Player one? Right. 1940s classic film in which the heroine says, Kiss me. Kiss me as if it were the last time. Okay, player one? Yeah. 1981 drama in which Norman Thayer asks wife Ethel, Want to dance? Or would you rather just suck face? Yes, player one? Right you are. Please pick a dream when you're feeling blue. Dream. That's the thing to do. Dream. Player one? Good. Rodney Dangerfield said, when I was born, I was so ugly, the doctor slapped my mother. Ugly. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! <laughs> I killed a man in Reno just to watch him die. In. Yes, player one. Yes. <laughs> we know you're very smart. But are you smart enough to know? Very. Okay, player one. Yep. <laughs> player so one. when you're happy, hooray, or sad, aw, or frightened, eek, or mad, rats. Hooray, aw, eek, rats. Yes, player one. <laughs> Player one. The third law of thermodynamics implies that a system can never be brought to this temperature point. Player one. Yeah. We got it. In 2006, Israeli scientists claim to have created the ball type of this stormy phenomenon using a microwave oven. Okay, player one. Good. <laughs> so here's Kelly from our clue crew with the clue. Symbolize lambda, the total distance covered by one complete cycle of oscillation from peak to peak or trough to trough is called this. Okay, player one. You got it. Player one, we went underground to learn this unit is equal to about 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power molecules of a substance. Yes, player one? Yes. In 2007, Intel announced a new, faster chip design replacing this 14th element with hafnium. Okay, player one? <laughs> Player one, it takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Okay, player one. Hey, you're right. So all the news that's fit to print. Yes, player one. Yes. <laughs> you choosy moms choose this. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> because I'm worth it. It's player one. Yeah! Let's have a look at the thousand dollar clue. It's the daily double. You are all right. Here is your clue. With a name like this one, it has to be good. That is 
I ran the entire Jeopardy round. Okay, we have to go to third place. So, we'll go first. Double Jeopardy round. So, double Jeopardy round. For this one. Archipelagos. P is for physics. Crescent City Rolls. Saints. Classical composers. And foreign words and phrases. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control. In the Buccaneer, Yul Brynner played this pirate who aided Andrew Jackson in the Battle of New Orleans. It's player one. Right you are. In the 1953 comedy, Abbott and Costello try to go to this planet, but end up at Mardi Gras instead. Player one? Right. <laughs> Critic Michael Kleinschroth said of this star in The Big Easy, the very worst example of a New Orleans accent. Yes, player one? In this movie, Betty Davis plays a southern belle who loses Henry Fonda when she wears a red dress to a ball. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> New Orleans set, the Cincinnati Kid, with him in the title role, is one of the great poker movies of all time. Okay, player one. Oh. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for, Steve McQueen. Player one, back to you. Setka is the largest city in this state's Alexander Archipelago. Let's hear it, player one. Right. In 1965, the Cook Islands became self-governing in free association with this country that provides for their defense. Okay, player one. No, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player two. <laughs> player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. This Scottish archipelago is famous not only for its ponies, but also for a breed of dog. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. You, <laughs> Answer the first of the day double. You are in first place. Answer this. This Pacific Island country is named for a British sea captain, not Happy Days producer Gary. Congratulations, you're still in first. Player this one. Portuguese archipelago once served as a stop for the treasure galleons returning to Spain from America. It's player one. You got it. <laughs> player one, back to you. In 1762, this six-year-old and his sister performed for Empress Maria Teresa. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> For several years, his friend Carl Amenda was one of the few people who knew about his increasing deafness. Okay, player one. Right you are. You, during his lifetime, Johann Sebastian Bach was best known as a master of this instrument. Okay, player one. 
<laughs> he composed the Four Seasons in 1723. Player one. Yeah. Good. On March 3rd, 1875, his Carmen premiered in Paris, and he was decorated with the French Legion of Honor. Let's hear it, player one. You got it. We return to you. The name of this type of poem is from the Japanese for stanza. Yes, player one. That's correct. Undercover cop Arnold Schwarzenegger taught it in a 1990 film. Okay, player one. Yes. <laughs> player medical one. aphorism, primum non nocere, is translated as, first of all, do know this. Player one. Here is your clue. This Arabic salutation, often followed by alikum, means peace. That which you even cover in Literally, one. blow of mercy. This French phrase is used for any decisive stroke. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. Player one, you it's the P in P equals force times velocity. Yes, player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. Yeah. Woo. Player one, this element, PU, was first detected in a cyclotron at Berkeley in 1940. It's player one. <laughs> right. A cube is an example of a rectangular one of these. A Pink Floyd cover displays a triangular one. Okay, player one. You got it. <laughs> player one, the bob of a simple one of these moves with simple periodic motion. Okay, player one. You are correct. Player it's one. an elementary light particle, also called a fuzzy ball. Let's hear it, player one. Oh. No. Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's what we wanted. A photon. We return to St. John who promoted devotion to this sacred body part, not just of Jesus, but of Mary, too. Yes, player one? Yeah! <laughs> no, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. The heart. St. Simeon Stylites resided for decades on one of these, 60 feet tall, from the French for support. Let's hear it, player one. St. <laughs> Columba of this country was martyred in 853 after telling some Moors that Muhammad was a false prophet. Okay, player one. Hey, you're right. Player the order one. founded by this saint in Toulouse was zealous in carrying out the Inquisition. Okay, player one. Yeah. No. Oh. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player two. Right you are. 
And now, the $2,000 clue. The Pope struck a medal to celebrate the 1572 massacre of Huguenots on this saint's day. Yes, player one? Oh. Any other takers? Okay, player two. Yes. <laughs> only, only two of you will be going on the final jeopardy. Sorry, player three. Here's the final jeopardy test. No business. You need to select the new jeopardy. Now, let's reveal the final jeopardy. The wings on this, created in 1948, represent the muse of art. The atom represents the electron of science. And your response? How much you oh, I got it wrong. So I'm going to end up with $40,000. That's still a lot of money. Your response? And that will lose you. Yeah! Congratulations, everyone. You're the winner. So for another game. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time.